It's two months since the Q8 e-tron was launched in India and now we have an update on the regular ICE Q8. It's called Q8 so no confusion about what the model is called and as you can see it is a very mild facelift. So over at the rear you now get digital lights. In profile nothing really has changed. You get a new color shade. This is called the Shakir Brown. It references the Bahrain Shakir racetrack, more desert color, like a desert storm color, which I think is really cool. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. And of course, over on the nose, you now get HD matrix lights with laser beams. You get a new interpretation of the grille, more blacked out, more progressive, as Audi likes to call it. To be clear, the styling updates are of the blink and you will miss it type. The sheet metal remains unchanged. The distinctive SUV coupe profile is untouched, but it still definitely turns heads. Audi India have listened to your criticism about their choice of wheel designs and that has been addressed. You will get cool looking wheels in India that have been upsized from 19 to 21 inches. That will be standard and you can option 22s or even 23s. Of course, the stance will improve dramatically, but there will also be a proportionate reduction in the ride comfort. Another cool aspect are the different graphics in the lights. These graphics you can adjust so you get four different patterns for both the headlamps as well as the tail lamps. What's the Q8 like to drive? Let's find out. The platform is absolutely unchanged from the earlier Q8. So pre-facelift, post-facelift, the way it drives is absolutely identical. There really is no change. But the Q8 has always been one of the nicer SUVs to drive. A very good balance of ride and handling verging on the sporty. And this can attack corners with a fair bit of enthusiasm. The V6 engine, it remains the same, again, the turbocharged V6 engine, 335 bhp and 500 newton meters of torque. So, acceleration on the Q8. Zero to 100 takes 5.6 seconds, top speed 250 kilometers per hour. And the way it attacks these roads is genuinely fun. Now these roads are really nice and smooth, but it is a little undulating, similar to what you find on roads in India, obviously the nicer roads that you find in India. And the way it goes through it, the body control is very good. Everything feels nice and tight without compromising on comfort. And that is the big takeaway. You have that sense of sportiness, definite sense of sportiness, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable in the least. This is something that you can do long drives in really comfortably and when you hit some winding roads, it will really attack it and put a big smile on your face. And that way they've really differentiated the Q7 from the Q8. The Q7 is that big comfy beast that just chugs in the miles. Here, when the roads get winding and interesting, this one does a fair impression of a sporty vehicle. The interior, it remains identical. So you get the typical Audi three screen setup. You have the digital cockpit. You've got the digital infotainment, obviously the touch screen. And below that, you have the other panel for the aircon. And if you want to scribble any navigation instructions, you can also do that on the third panel. So this is familiar from the earlier Q8 and from the entire Audi range, really. So the interiors, identical. These inlays are different but that's about it. In fact, you have to really poke around with the microscope to make out any changes to the interior of the Q8. But honestly, that said, the quality of the interior, the intuitiveness, 
the ergonomics all of that has always been very good and continues to be very good everything is exactly where you would want it to be for instance the way the gear lever has been designed you can easily rest your palm on it and use the aircon controls and once you get used to it you don't really have to look down at the touch screen to operate the aircon controls you have a proper physical rotary dial to adjust the volume which is becoming a rarity in these days and the way the entire setup is it is easy to use and operate quality like i said is top notch and there is nothing to fault these seats they have a new stitching new color to the stitching but they are really comfortable and they also feel sporty and speaking of sportiness that's the main difference between the Q7 and the Q8 is it not the Q7 is that perfect all rounder great for long distance driving extremely comfortable lot of space and of course it's a 7 seater the Q8 has been targeted at a slightly more progressive customer that doesn't want to purely be chauffeur driven the Q8 is for somebody who enjoys driving themselves Now the platform everybody knows that is shared with the other SUVs in the Volkswagen group the Cayenne for instance even the Urus has the same base platform of course the Urus now with the Urus S and the Urus Performante has become even wilder even madder but the Q8 it has those same genes so if you are looking for an Urus on a budget the Q8 does a fairly good job of it a really really good job of it in terms of the models that we're going to get in india this is the only one the 55 tfsi that's going to be coming to india there is a sq8 which is the most sporty version but as of now audi india is saying that it's not coming to india so the 55 tfsi that's coming to india by the middle of next year now the rsq8 very very close to the urus right but when will that get updated i don't have an idea but as of now this is what's coming and this actually is a very important vehicle in the audi india lineup it sounds surprising i know even i was first surprised that we are coming all the way to south africa to drive it on the global drive especially when the updates are very mild three main updates the lights the styling becoming more progressive and well that's it really So there really isn't much to the update but this is important because this is a brand shaper for Audi they're looking at what they call a more progressive customer somebody who likes to drive their vehicles and not just be driven around in the back seat of their vehicles now these customers they tend to be a little bit more vocal in terms of their preferences they're also great brand ambassadors and that's what Audi is looking to capitalize on get more people into the Q8 and get more people talking about the Audi brand in the country as we see in every quarter sales results Audi have really turned their act around in India and vehicles like the Q8 and Q8 customers especially will make a big difference in terms of the brand appeal and that's why the Q8 is so important for the Indian market and of course we know that India is SUV country everybody wants an SUV and vehicles like the Q8 they work really well delivering both sportiness as well as everyday comfort so finally the question is what Q8 would you buy the ice Q8 with the turbo V6 engine or the electric Q8 in terms of performance both of them are more or less on par they're almost identical in terms of performance the Q8 ice has a little bit more space and a little bit more road presence than the e-tron but of course the e-tron is more cooler and more futuristic which one would you pick let us know in the comments and thank you for watching make sure you stay subscribed to the evo india channel and if you enjoy this video give us a thumbs up and share this video with like minded enthusiasts and now to go check out the cape of good hope man south africa is stunning stunning what a country for years you don't come to this place it's 15 years since i came to south africa and now in a span of 3 months i've come twice <laughs> go figure